Today we'll walk you through the basics of how to apply Notable, the new dry erase paint from Benjamin Moore. Notable is a two-part system that comes in white or clear and works on drywall, metal, laminate, and wood surfaces. It comes in 50, 100, or 200 square foot kits that include a roller cover and step-by-step -step instructions. Before you start, it's important to get the right size kit for your project. Don't try to stretch this paint. Overextending the mixture will compromise how well you can write or erase on the surface. That's why you measure first. To begin, prep your wall. Like any other project, you want to fill in any holes and sand down any rough spots. Frame your work area with a high quality painter's tape that gives you a straight edge and prevents any seeping and dripping. Since Notable is thinner than other paints, it is important to add a four inch border along the bottom of your work area. A wine cork can help you apply good, firm, even pressure to smooth out the tape without getting it too stuck to the wall. When using Notable White, start with a primer that works for most surfaces. The primer will help hide imperfections and mute undercolors while giving Notable a really solid foundation to adhere to. For the whitest white and best results, apply a non-flat intermediate white base coat before topping with Notable. Notable Clear can be applied over any paint color, just make sure it's in good condition. Gloves and safety glasses are important here because Notable won't wash off with just soap and water. Now it's a standard two-part system, a base and a catalyst, that activate when mixed. It's best to mix this by hand. Avoid drill mixing or shaking, which can cause bubbles. All the molecules need to pair up, bind together, and harden for the paint to perform as well as it does. Once you've mixed the two, the product has a four-hour pot life. After that, it'll begin to harden, so you've got to move quickly. Don't use plastic tray liners with Notable. The chemicals in the paint may cause the liner to break down, becoming soft and unusable. And the same chemicals may cause the roller covers to fall apart and degrade, which will give you an imperfect application. It's best to work about 50 square feet at a time. It's an easy to manage size and allows you to give that area your full attention. After 10 minutes, it'll be ready for a second wet on wet coat. Once your second coat is on, you've got about half an hour to fill in any areas you've missed. After 30 minutes, what's there is there and you're ready to remove the tape. It'll be dry to the touch in four hours, but give it at least a week to cure for best results. Done right, the result is a smooth, high gloss finish on nearly any surface that wipes clean every time without any left behind ghost marks. That's about it. If you have any other projects in mind, we can help. Visit your local Benjamin Moore retailer, go to BenjaminMoore.com or check out our other how-to videos.